here we go in a nighttime drive in what I like to call the baby big, the 86 Olds 98. It's got a 3.8 liter pre-3800 V6 engine. Makes 140 horsepower. They had two 3.8 liter V6s in 1986. They had this one, and then they had a little bit more powerful one that still didn't have a balance shaft. It was 150 horsepower and had roller rocker arms. These cars are just really good cars, especially if you get one from the 1988 through 91 model years. And they really had sorted out all the bugs, in particular with the steering racks. And you get the 3800, which is a balance shaft engine. It's even smoother than this 3.8, which is dubbed the even firing 3.8 liter engine that has some unnatural stresses and strains in the engine associated with the fact that the connecting rods are off center in the piston because the uh, crank throws are staggered so that they could get more even firing out of it. I would say it's a pretty smooth engine at any speed above fast idle or below fast idle, about a thousand RPMs to 1200 RPMs. It's not smooth at that rev range and you definitely can feel it, uh, but at curb idle, when it's warm, it's pretty smooth. And driving it around, it's quite smooth. I've put new AC Delco struts on this car, front and rear, and they're not the firm struts. I actually put the regular ones on it, and this car rides really, really well now. It's only got just turned 40,000 miles, and it's in perfect condition. I got this car from North Carolina, is out by the side of the road. The undercarriage, you could eat off of it. It was obviously well loved and taken care of. And my first car was a 1986 Olds 88 Royale Brome. And these always had a special place in my heart just because of that. I love the seats. This is a 98 Regency, not a Regency Brome. So you have these pillow I don't know what you'd call them, button tufted seats, similar to the Mies van der Rohe Barcelona chairs, was the inspiration. They're very comfortable. You don't have any lateral support, but you don't need it with that velour because you stick to the seat. And these cars, I mean, are they handling uh, sports cars or handling vehicles? No, but they handle quite well. They're great in the snow. I don't drive this one in any inclement weather, but I've driven them other ones. I've owned probably five of these cars and I've driven them in the winter time as daily drivers back when they were more numerous and you could pick them up pretty cheap and they, they drive great in the snow. And they're comfortable, reliable, only thing is on these early years, I mentioned the pre-balance shaft 3.8. These engines are good for about 130, 40,000 miles. They tend to, around that point, lose uh, a tooth off of the timing gear, which is plastic. And when that happens, then uh, the engine can be gone. Um, the 3800s, tend to last much longer. I've seen those go 300,000 plus miles. And the transmissions in these, this is before the electronic control came in. This is not a 4T60E or even a 4T60. This is a 440T4 transmission. And the first couple model years, GM had some troubles with it, in particular the 1985 model year on these 98s. 86 was better, 87 was better, yet 88 and I would say 88 forward, these became really, really good transmissions. GM just kept improving them year after year after year. And General Motors definitely had some quality issues in the 1980s, but I will say if you buy a GM car from the late 80s through about 1990, 91, uh, their quality is pretty gosh darn good at that point, relatively speaking. This is a pretty bumpy road but with these new struts on the car, it handles it just, just great. These cars have really good road isolation, wind noise isolation, great for long trips. I've driven so many of them on long trips. 
and they get great mileage too. This car will, will get on the freeway eh, high 20s, 28 miles per gallon on the freeway. So you get to drive in comfort and get good mileage. It's torquey. I wouldn't say the car's got a lot of horsepower. You're trying to pass somebody and you're going north of 50 miles an hour. It's going to take a little while, but taking off from a stoplight, you really move out smartly. No complaints at all. Just overall, really nice driving cars that if you're looking for an affordable classic, you just want to relive the experience of yesteryear. You know, these are front wheel drive. They drive totally differently from a car today. Supple suspensions, cushy seats, super airy cabin with great visibility, quiet. Just a really nice car to drive. I loved my 86 Olds 88 Royale Brougham that I had. And I was thrilled to find this one when I found it for sale in North Carolina. Just taking it out, we had a little bit of a rainstorm yesterday. It washed the salt off the roadway here. They didn't really put much down to begin with. And it just feels nice to drive this around for a little bit. Kick back, relax. Especially now with these new struts. It really is a very level ride. The car also has automatic climate control and the Delco ETR AM FM radio that you can see there. This car is pretty well loaded. Tilt steering wheel, cruise control, Twilight Sentinel, power seats both sides. You can hear them going 50 miles an hour. You really can't pick up anything audibly inside. So it's a very slight amount of tire noise. That's it. In any case, hope you enjoyed this nighttime ride and drive in this 86 Olds 98. And here you can Thanks see so the opera light illuminated. There's one Take on each side. Just a nice touch on this Olds 98. Thanks again for watching. Thanks again for watching this nighttime drive of the 86 Olds 98. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, check out the video thumbnails at bottom left and right for some suggestions for you.